Hello, I'm Edward Court and welcome to the Quick Start Guide to Using Woodwind Instrument Designer, software for designing woodwind musical instruments. In this talk, we'll show you how to get the program, extract it and get it running on your system, how to initially configure it, and how to do a simple optimization. The emphasis will be on Native American style flutes and where appropriate I'll point out where the more detailed video tutorials uh, may apply. So first, this program is a Java application. You must have Java installed on your, your computer before you can run WI Designer. This is what the Java download page looks like and it supports Windows, Mac, Linux, and one version of, of Solaris. Uh, install that first and then you're ready to go and I'll show you URLs um, for all these uh, at the end of the talk. Then you need to download WI Designer and it has a release page and the current release as of the time of this video is 1.04. If you haven't installed it before, the file that you want to get is WI Designer 1.04 zip. So bring that to your computer and I have brought that to my in this case a Windows desktop. It may look different on different operating systems and if it's sub significantly different on your system please look at the installation uh, video. So we have the zip file here and you can expand it. You, sh you have to expand it and it'll expand to a to a folder and here's the folder. I expanded it onto the desktop. If we open that folder it contains a few other folders and this is actually the um, the program that you run. I have a couple of previous versions in here. You will only have 1.0.4 jar. Um, in most operating systems you'll just be able to double click it. So let's double click it and the program will run. I'm going to bring this folder over here. There's just really um, a couple of initial configurations that you need to do. Go into the edit menu to the options and here's the options um, panel. I have it set up for Native American flute study. That's what we're going to talk about today. The program also um, supports whistles. I have set this up to show all of the uh, dimensions, the length dimensions, uh, in units of measure inches. So you can do millimeters, centimeters, meters, inches, or feet. I like to use inches. Uh, the, the tuning temperature, the playing temperature, the same in this program. I've set uh, 72 degrees, which is 22.22 22 degrees um, Celsius and a relative humidity of 45 percent. I won't for for my use ever change any of these values. For your installation you'll need to configure the constraints directory and we'll get into what a constraint is in a second. Um, so hit the browse button and it will bring up a, a dialog. It wants you to find where the constraints are stored. Um, in our initial install here, you saw there's a constraints directory. And it has constraints for Native American flute and whistle and, and a fairly deep directory tree. We just want to point to this top level constraints directory. So we'll go here and we'll find it. Um, for me it's it's off of the desktop and this dialog will look different on different operating systems in WI Designer and Constraints. Just select that 
and I'm done. Um, there are no uh, Native American flute study options uh, currently that aren't on the general uh, study tab. There are some if you're doing a whistle. So I'm going to say OK and the program is now configured. Ready to run. Let's open an instrument. So either from the, the menu or from the toolbar I'll hit open and the program comes with a lot of uh, sample files for the Native American flute. Let's go back to the desktop and find them the hard way. WI Designer, NAF Study, um, and Instruments. And I've supplied you with starter instruments with bore diameters from a half inch all the way up uh, to an inch and a quarter. If you want any others, you can certainly make them. All of these are six hole flutes. Uh, if you have a different number of holes, you can make um, instruments with any number of holes you want. Let's open up the 0.75 um, inch bore and it says it should make an A4 flute. So we open it up. Here's the the instrument representation in Native American flute. Uh, it has some mouthpiece characteristics. All of these should look familiar to you except for the FIPPLE factor which if you've used NA Flutamat, an old program I wrote, is the replacement for a combination of the, the BIRD and TSH, TSH factor. Whole specifications are here. Uh, you can change names, positions, diameter of the hole, height of the hole, which is the um, the wall thickness, and bore specifications. Uh, this program will handle straight bores like this flute where the top of the bore is 0.75 inches and the bottom of the bore is 0.75 inches and in between uh, it's just a linear interpolation. It's a straight bore. It will also handle uh, any complexity of, of bore that you happen to enter. So if we want to look at what this flute looks like, we hit the draw sketch and there is that flute. It's a, a pretty nice looking flute. It has a square end on the top of the, the flute um, and the TSH is right against it. These holes are equally spaced. These holes are bigger and equally spaced. Um, as I said, straight bore. I can make it bigger and you can see how this bore is straight. Let's bring up a tuning file. So this is the representation of what notes you want this flute to play with what fingerings. So again, I'll do an open. And I'll go up one directory and tunings are appropriately in the tunings directory. And I said this would make an A, A4 flute. I'm going to open up a chromatic tuning for an A4 a4 six hole flute and you can read the metadata about it that's what what we what we have and this is what a tuning file looks like it has all the notes that are represented in this file and the tuning tutorial tells you how to modify this file how to make it from scratch how to change the names of the notes change the frequencies, what scale it plays, uh, change the fingering patterns to be anything you want. This is what will be used both to evaluate flutes and as optimization targets when we make new flute designs. This is uh, my fingering pattern that I use for a chromatic flute pretty much from really high flutes to, to low flutes. has a lot, of, a lot of fingerings. It goes into uh, three semitones into the second octave and has two tunings for the same note. Let's not use this second tuning and so you have control of that as well, which notes you want to use. Uh, let's set the weight 
of this A sharp 5. The, it's a minor ninth with the closed holes. Again, you can make these names anything you want. Let's set it to zero. It won't be used now for anything. And let's see how this flute that we uh, brought up compares to that tuning. Let's evaluate its tuning characteristics. So calculate instrument tuning table. And that's what the flute looks like. Let's bring the notes over next to the deviation. This is how many cents it's off from what our target was in this scale. And you can see it's dead on for the notes in the pentatonic, in the minor scale, and not very close for the cross fingering notes. That's the way it was made. And the second octave are pretty horrible too for, for deviation from what we wanted, what our target was. It has an average deviation for all of these notes of about 16 cents. Well, let's see if we can do better than that. The design portion of this program works with an optimizer um, framework. And for the Native American flute, I provide six different kinds of optimizers that, that do different things with different strategies for different purposes. Uh, for now, let's just choose the optimizer that will vary um, what the hole sizes are, where they are on the flute, and the bore length. And you can see if you hover, that's what the tooltip uh, shows you. So we select that and go up into the File menu and do Open Constraints. This is where we did that configuration so the program can find where, the def where you're putting the constraints. We do Open Constraints and it found the ones we want for that optimizer. Uh, it's different constraints for each different optimizer. Let's make a flute that's constrained uh, to 101.25 inch maximum hole spacing. And we'll show you what that looks like. So this is what a constraint file is. Uh, this is essentially the design specifications that the program will apply to uh, the optimizer when it makes your new flute. Um, it has specifications for how long the bore is, and we have it wide open here, how close the top hole is to the, to the TSH, um, so you don't have nodal interference. Uh, we've set this pretty wide open here too, but it can't be any higher than a quarter of the bore length. Uh, specification on how far apart each hole is from the, the next hole down the flute. And we've set, you can see, a uh, maximum hole spacing of an inch and a quarter, except between hands when it can be, get bigger, and a minimum hole spacing of 0.8 inches. I have fat fingers. <coughs> and for the hole's diameters, we've let them get small, as small as an eighth of an inch, the top hole even smaller than that, and as big as 0.5 inches. You can change any of those values uh, and rerun the optimization. Uh, and so please look at the, the paired videos about optimizer strategies and about constraints. Now, everything under this tool menu, calculate tuning, graph tuning, optimize instrument, sketch instrument, and so forth, um, is based upon selections in what's called the study pane. So we have a flute selected, a tuning target selected, um, an optimizer wrapper, we're just going to run the optimizer once, an optimizer strategy, and an associated constraint definition. So the button that now says optimize instrument uh, is active. If you didn't have that set selected, this button wouldn't be active. So let's optimize this instrument, see if we can get a better tuning for all of those notes. So after three seconds, we have a new flute file. Um, it's different from the old one only by bore length 
by the um, hole positions and by the hole diameters. In fact, we can look at how it varies. Let's select the initial flute in the study pane and the flute we want to compare it to out in the edit pane and go over and compare instruments. And you can see both flutes and just the parameters that have changed. And we've made some changes. Most of the changes are in the hole 3 diameter and in the hole 2 diameter. So let's look at what that flute looks like. Um, it doesn't look too bad. Again, the holes are relatively evenly spaced. Um, there's a little bit of non-equal spacing in these top holes, but let's see how well the tuning uh, was improved. So again, um, we're going to calculate tuning, so let's make sure that that new flute is selected in the study pane and calculate the tuning. And we went from 15, 16 cents average deviation down to 5. Uh, we have a pretty good flute here. But let's look at it more closely. The fundamental is off by 6.5 cents and um, the octave is off by, by four. Uh, I would say six and a half cents is too much for such an important note. So I'm going to go back into the tuning file and I'm going to say that A4 is more important um, than all the other notes that I optimized. And let's, so let's give it a weight of two instead of one. Let's get rid of this try select the starter flute again and optimize it again. Now if we look at its tuning that A4 now is pretty acceptable. It's in four cents off. Um, this is a pretty good flute. Let's look at it and ah, eh, maybe it's not such a good flute. Uh, there's an aesthetic in Native American flutes that sets of holes should be equally spaced when played with the, the left hand and the right hand. And look at this gap here. Well, we can do something about that. Uh, we have a lot of flexibility. Uh, this optimizer allows us to specify that sets of holes have the same hole spacing. So let's select that optimizer, open up an appropriate constraint set for it, and I just have one, but it's the right one in this case. Um, we'll just open it and look at it. So now hole 6, 5, and 4 are in one group, and they all have the same spacing of an inch and a quarter maximum. Hole 1, 2, and 3 are in the second group, Again, the same maximum hole spacing with up to three inches in between the two, two groups. Same hole, hole size constraints. Let's optimize that. And actually, let's first change this weight back to one. And bang the optimizer. I haven't saved any files. There's no need. It works in memory. And so now we have a new flute. You can see um, these two hole spacings are exactly the same and these two hole spacings are exactly the same. We look at the flute. It looks very pretty. Let's see what its tuning is. Now the warning being that as you add constraints and we added a grouping constraint, uh, we should not expect to get as good a tuning. We don't know how bad it's going to be, but let's see what it is. And it hardly changed at all. It went from 4.9 average to 5.2. Um, we do want to tweak both the A4, the fundamental, and the A5, the octave. So let's delete those things, go back to our tuning file, 
let's put that up to let's put it up to three because they were getting even worse and put the octave up to three run it doesn't matter which one we use as the starter let's be robust and use the the starter flute and run the optimization again again we still have equal hole spacing on the top three holes and the bottom three holes let's see and we can look at that and confirm it and they are equally spaced and how is the tuning well, we've gone up to 5.6, but now A4 is only 3.5 cents off, and A5 is only 3.8 cents off. The other fingerings are pretty good. We would probably make this flute undercut hole 5 a little bit, um, undercut hole um, 3 a little bit, and be pretty happy with this flute. Um, so that's a really quick walkthrough tutorial on, on how to to do probably the, the most standard kind of flute optimizations that you'll do with WI Designer. Now bringing it back up, I promised you the URLs. So here's the URL for Java. Here's the URL for um, the most recent, the most, the current version of WI Designer, and we're in a in a bug fix stage as people start using the program. So expect this to change frequently. An issues page if you're using the program, find some problems. If you have a request for video tutorials, this video tutorial came as a request, um, and so forth. Go to the issues page. Um, the page that shows many, I've been very busy, uh, video tutorials in detail on using the program. And our wiki entry um, is the last one for the written documentation and for all the interesting discussions we've had in designing this program. So uh, please enjoy the program and have a good day.